In this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about a project I've been involved with uh, here in Letchworth Park. There's been an invasive species that, uh, I, I think it started in the Carolinas and it worked its way up through here into the northeast. It's called uh, HWA or Hemlock Woolly Adelgid. What it does is this invasive bug from Asia um, will get onto these hemlock trees and it will suck the life right out of them and, and they'll be dead in a short time. Now what I'm going to do is, this is where I'm at right now, is a hemlock forest and at least three quarters of the trees in here are hemlock trees. And it would be such a waste to have these trees disappear because it takes a lot of years to get a good mature hemlock. This is just a gorgeous place. And I have a grid that I'm searching. It's a pretty good size area that I picked. Uh, and what it is is a place where I can uh, pretty much check to see if I find any of this. Now, in case some of you are not sure what a hemlock tree is, uh, let's walk up here a little bit. Here's a small one here. We'll be able to look at the needles. Yeah, it's still cold here. We still have lots and lots of snow. But that won't last much longer. So, this is hemlock right here. It's a beautiful um, coniferous tree. See, the underside is a lot lighter, almost striped. The needles appear to be like a couple stripes. And what happens is these bugs, these invasive bugs, lay their uh, egg sacs along these branches, the ends of these branches. And when those eggs hatch, thousands of these little critters come out. Now, these bugs, these HWA bugs, are so tiny that you can barely see them with a human eye. But their egg sacs show up really well. And uh, once they hatch, they put their little mouth parts right up to where the needle connects to the branch, and then they suck all the nutrients out uh, that are meant for the pine needles. So I know where there's some. I'm just on a search today. It's a beautiful day, first day in a while that we've had that was actually above freezing. And uh, I'll get back when I uh, find some of the HWA and I'll show you what it looks like because I'd like everybody that watches this video to be aware of it and to be looking for it and I'll talk a little bit more about how they try to treat for it so I'll be back okay here's an example of what I'm talking about now you see the little white egg sacs see how they attach right um, on the underside of the branch this is uh, this is what we're looking for but we hope not to find it. Every one of those egg sacs has just hundreds of uh, little HWA invasive bugs. A little breezy here today. But that's hemlock woolly adelgid right there. And uh, I've been spending a lot of time searching for this stuff. And let's see what we got right here. It's a little dark. Get some light on this. Now this stuff will start hatching out um, probably after the 15th of this month. I'm hoping that the cold winter we've had uh, hurt these things, killed them. I mean, this morning we had seven below. <laughs> Just doesn't seem to end winter here in western New York, but that's exactly what well, you see that on a tree. That's not a good sign. Now, uh, this is just a small little stand of hemlocks right here, and they're young ones. These aren't, don't have much future if this bug gets a hold of them. Two methods of, of uh, treating them is one is they spray the trunks with a chemical that keeps them from spreading, probably will still kill the tree but it won't spread the trees around it. And the other is a biological uh, method using a beetle that feasts on these things. Um, I've never been a fan of introducing something into an area that wasn't there originally because to get rid of one pest, you might gain another. So those are the two things open right now. This will decimate an entire forest once it's let go um, and not treat it. So you guys, if you get a chance, look your hemlock trees over. If you see that, um, what I just showed you here, the the white egg sacs, if I can't see too well in this, then that means you've got them and uh, you might want to look into 
checking all your trees make sure it hasn't spread too far so that's what I wanted to talk about pretty much is the HWA problem uh, it's here in New York State uh, it's spreading and uh, you know eventually these old growth hemlocks and some of the forests will be gone and uh, that would be a real shame because uh, it took quite a long time for them to get to this size so anyway thanks for watching Uh, here's one more look at uh, this invasive creature. Look carefully, you can see how those egg sacs are on the underside. This would be the top. You can see them. You see them better on the underside. And hopefully you don't see this in your woods or your place you like to hike. Because this is not a good thing to have happen to your woods. Let me know what you find. Uh, here's one more shot of the uh, problem. You can see it's all over. As I look through this tree, I can see it in quite a few places. Like. Back in here I saw some. Okay, let's hope you don't find it. That's a hemlock pine cone right there. In case you're wondering what they look like. Big tree, tiny pine cone. Tiniest ones I think that grow.